Hello and welcome to the 14th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we'll be looking at setting a sprite color. We'll be using the source code from the 12th tutorial where we added a sprite. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Okay, we will now take a look at setting sprites color. You basically can specify an RGB color value which is multiplied by the sprites color value. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Let's just open it up. One of the examples that I think is great, or one of the um, real uh, life examples I think is great for setting a sprite's color is maybe if you've got a player sprite and it's got its normal color, but when you start losing health, let's just say your health, maximum health is 100, that's usually what it is, and let's say it goes down to about 20 or 30, you could start making the sprite go red, maybe even flashing. So it's indicating to the player visually that there's something wrong, and maybe if they go above 100 health, some sort of special power for a limited time, it could be flashing green or blue, something that signifies something good is happening. Okay, so to set the sprite color, it's extremely easy. Just do your sprite name dot set color and today's in then in here you do ff color then you just do well the value that you want to do. I'm gonna put 255 0 and 0 aka red is on four green is on nothing and blue is on nothing. Basically we're only gonna be affecting the red. I think it has now basically become a red sprite from its original sprite, which I'll just show you. Rerun this. There we go. That's what the original one was. What you can also do is set, uh, we can also affect the sprite's transparency by providing, a, by providing an extra value which ranges from 0 to 255, 0 being invisible and 255 being fully visible. So we're going to do sprite. Dot set color. I'm going to do SF color. And here we're going to have 255, 255, 255. The reason we're going to have 3255s for the red, green, and blue is because we want the color to remain the same. We want it to be at its highest green, highest. Um, red, highest blue, basically it's default one. And now we're going to specify the alpha, which is this one here, aka opacity. And for that, I'm just going to put 128. Run it. As you can see, it's not that visible anymore. And then we can turn it down again to 45. You could use this for some sort of death animation so it sort of fades out your sprite does, or maybe if you kill something, it fades out, or if you collect something. That is it for setting a sprite color in SFML. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at setting the sprite origin. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.